Hello. What is up, you guys? This is the last video of the day. Three reviews in a day. Getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this. Um, I'm definitely going to be uh, posting at least two reviews. At least a review a week. Um, hopefully two. But um, we're doing Cartier Declaration. This is going to be my Throwback Thursday review. Thought I'd make the whole little Instagram trend Throwback Thursday. Bring it to the fragrance community and review an older scent, 2000 down, uh, maybe 1999 down, 1999 down. This is Cartier Declaration, it was done in 98. Um, the top notes are Artemisia, Caraway, Coriander, Birch, Mandarin Orange, Bergamot, and Aroli Bitter Orange. Middle notes are Iris, Ginger, Cinnamon, Pepper, I believe that is juniper yep juniper orris root jasmine and cardamom base notes are leather amber uh tea vetiver oak moss and cedar um it has long lasting longevity that's what most people are saying i would agree it is 10 to 12 hours and the sillage i would say is moderate to heavy heavy for the first two hours now this fragrance is not a crowd pleaser that is the very first thing i will say before i even get on with this video so if you are the guy that you stumbled upon my videos because you might have started reading about cartier declaration on fragrantica saw that it was good in basically every season and you wanted a nice signature scent to wear all the time that would get, garner you compliments then go get dior sauvage this scent is for the fragrance freaks and the the collectors and just the people that appreciate good perfumery it is not a crowd pleaser in no way i mean you will find compliments with it but you will also find people that don't really like it that much like my mother she does not like this stuff at all she said it smelled like body odor believe it or not i don't think it smells anything like body odor at all um I, i've read a review that said it smelled like a a spicy indian food place I don't believe it smells like that at all. Um, I don't know, but every nose is different. But uh, this is Cartier Declaration from 1998. The the perfumer behind this is John Claude Elena. He is a very famous perfumer, very no famous nose behind a lot of fragrances. Um, I cannot recall many of the ones he's done, but I do know he's big in the fragrance community. And Cartier Declaration was a masterpiece when it came out. It was something that when you smelt it, you were like, wow, I've never smelt anything like this. This is so divinely unique. And it is divinely unique. And it will be unique. There, There is not a fragrance out there that smells like Declaration besides maybe Terry de Hermes, Voyage by Terry de Hermes. And even Voyage by Terry de Hermes uh, does not, I mean, Terry de Hermes, am, am I, I'm, I mean Hermes, I apologize. Yeah, I mean Hermes, I apologize. Even Voyage to Hermes by Hermes does not smell exactly or is too similar to Cartier Declaration. They share a similar spicy tea note, but they are not the same. This stuff is very, very unique. And um, it is one of the first fragrances I actually got. Um, I remember when I smelled this stuff, I sm thought it smelled like money. <laughs> Cartier being a jewelry company and the fragrance just smelling like a crisp hundred dollar bill when i smelt it i was like wow that is a luxury that stuff smells amazing i excitedly ran downstairs to show my mother the fragrance um which i smelt i'm 20 years old i'm in college so i'm still in my home you know gotta take advantage of that free living before you get all them bills <laughs> so i ran downstairs i showed my mom the cartier declaration and she promptly told me it smells like body odor, and I was like, uh, it smells like body odor to me. My father said it smelled good. About a couple times later, my mom, it grew on her, and she was like, oh, it smells nice, and I and I believe, I can know, I know when my mom's lying, and she didn't seem to be lying. It seemed to actually grow on her slightly, but I feel like she said it smelled like body odor, or she wasn't pleased by the smell because it is so damn unique and different that when you smell it, you just, your whole... Your whole vision of what a, a men's clone is to smell like, like Aqua de Gio, Dior Sauvage, Dior Sauvage, I apologize. Um, what's another? P Pariellis 360 Red, that's Aqua de Gio clone. Just very light, freshies, Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, Dolce & Gabbana, Porom, Polo. 
all those colognes that you have in mind, they go out the door when you smell this stuff because it's very different. So I'm going to break into the scent. I apologize. Good five minutes of raining how different it was. I'm going to spray it on my forearm. The sprayer on this is... Look at that. That's incredible. Also, the bottle is just like... I love this bottle. It's my favorite bottle in my whole collection. That stops it from spraying. Take it down. Oh, I'm already getting a very orangey spice smell. Like, and it's and, and, and when I've noticed when I spray this stuff on my skin, it warms the skin area. And it's weird. It's like the only fragrance that does that in my collection. And it's just so unique. Um, what I mostly get is bitter orange, cardamom, and caraway. And I also get, I also get birch. I get iris and tea. I get a lot of iris and tea. But the iris tea combination smells to me like money like a a new hundred dollar bill and it, you know they're not paper they're actually a type of linen i believe and it smells similar to that there's that kind of tone in this fragrance um it smells kind of like a damn hard-working man that's what this fragrance smells like it smells like an old-fashioned guy that busts his ass but he has a sensual side and he sprays this on when he takes his wife out to dinner that's what it smells it smells like his blood sweat and determination that he did throughout the day mixed with a very luxurious fragrance and that's the best way I can describe it it's very orange in the beginning it's spicy it's very unique to put it into words is almost impossible it's just something you have to kind of smell it can be worn whenever it has a fresh quality but at the same time it has a warm cozy quality uh, just very unique um it's filled with spices coriander cumin caraway pepper cinnamon they're all in this um i don't smell cinnamon too much and i have good news for cinnamon so the main thing i smell is cardamom is is a lot of cardamom and lime and i smell lime I smell tea orange vetiver and birch I smell a lot of different things but they all kind of what I'm trying to say is there's a shit ton of, of notes, but they're all kind of discombobulated and they make just a very unique smell that you can't really put into words. So this is Cartier Declaration. Great all season scent, but it's not a crowd pleaser. So please don't blind buy it. But uh, if you are a fragrance freak and you know, you just want to add something unique to your collection that you're like, wow, I've never smelled anything like that. And it comes off as, you know, like a beast juice. Like it comes off as a great performer. It's a heavy juice. Like you can smell quality in it. Then go ahead and purchase Cartier Declaration. Do on Sawyer is a bit more crowd pleasing, but it's not the same scent. It, it does have the Cartier D DNA, Declaration DNA in it, but it's more of a rosy kind of smell and it's a little bit more crowd pleasing. And uh, Cartier, I believe it is Lou does also have the dna in it and that is way more crowd, crowd pleasing if you guys have smelt uh narcisco rodriguez for him blue noir very similar smell to cardia declaration um but just less different this stuff is the king of different um, and the bottle from the bottle to the smell on um, the scent i would give it a eight out of ten Uniqueness, I'd give it an 11 out of 10. Um, the longevity, I would give an 8 out of 10. And the performance, I mean, the, the, the projection. Longevity, actually, 8.5. The projection, I would give a 8 out of 10. So, there we go. Cartier Declaration.